Okay, in this video, I want to go over my thoughts on the Tesla Model 3 2023 um, so far. And this is primarily for those who are considering getting a Tesla and are curious if there is anything they should consider before getting one. Uh, so first thing I would say, it's definitely worth it. I like that. Um, I really like the autopilot feature. That's, uh, that is honestly the, the best thing. Um, and the one thing that I like really like about the Tesla. Um, so with autopilot, you basically um, don't have to worry about uh, stepping on the pedal and you don't have to do the steering wheel it'll go straight for you and if it turns out turns as as well just following on that staying on that one lane uh, so this is very convenient for those who do like long commute uh, because it really does help a lot not needing to um, basically drive in a sense but of course you still need to have your eyes on the road uh, but yeah other than that i would say it's it's absolutely amazing and um moving on i would say one big thing to consider before getting a Tesla is, um, do you ha would you have a charging station? Um, let's say if you don't, I think that's something that you need to uh, be ready that you, you will need to go and charge more often than if you need to go get gas. Um, for example, for me, I do have the long range. Um, however, with Tesla or with battery electric car, you are not supposed to drive all the way to like 0%, right? Obviously, and the, um, the recommended percentage is to actually not let it drop to uh, under 20 percent so typically you would need to start charging around 20 and one thing as well is you're not able to you're not supposed to charge to a hundred percent ideally you should charge around like up to 80 percent or even 90 percent but that's about it right so if you do the math like from 20 to 80 or even 90 you're basically only getting 60 percent or 70 percent of the uh, battery uh, and for that reason you're not going to be able to drive like all, all the full range of whatever um, it offers so I feel like because of that I definitely charge uh, my car more often and more frequent than I would have if I was driving a gasoline car and because I don't have a uh, a charger at home I do have to go outside and something to also consider is uh, with the charging um, the the rate does fluctuate uh, depending on the time of the day you're charging. For me in California, um, the best time to charge is at 12 a.m. That's when it's cheapest. Currently, the rate is at 25 cent uh, per kilowatt. So if you want to save money, then you would have to also go at a very late time. Um, but if not, usually um, the average is like around 50 cents if you charge it during the day. Um, so I think that's really honestly the only inconvenient part is the part where I feel I have to always get gas uh, or get uh, charged up. Uh, but eventually, hopefully I'll install a charger at home. Uh, but I would say that is in summary, the biggest thing, the biggest annoying thing for me is the, the charging part. Um, but other than that, everything else with the car is amazing. The acceleration is great. Um, driving in it is fun and um, it's very nice. The interior is very nice, although it may not be the best uh, materials used, but overall it feels like a really nice car and autopilot uh, is truly a uh, game changer for me. And um, yeah, hopefully this helps kind of give you some new perspective of whether it's worth it for you and um if you like you can use the link below um i as a ref as a referral as a referral link to purchase the tesla if you use that you do get some uh bonus as well and depending on which model you get you might get like a thousand dollars off if it's like a model s or something i think when i got the model three uh, my friend referred me and i got um 500 credit in uh, free supercharge. So it really depends on what the promotion is right now, but uh, definitely check it out if you are planning on getting a Tesla. And thank you for watching.